members of the audience, please rise to greet and welcome the dignitaries of SLIT. Please be seated. Aristotle, the great Greek philosopher regarded as the father of political science, once said that, it is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and a very warm welcome to SLIT, the pioneer and the largest degree awarding institute in Sri Lanka. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to the inauguration ceremony of the year 2023 as the first day of a worthy investment you have made to enrich your life. To start off today's proceedings, I would like to cordially invite Senior Professor Rahul Lattalage, Pro Vice Chancellor, Academic, to introduce SLIT in brief. Professor Attalage, the Pro Vice Chancellor, academic of SLIT, has more than 30 years of experience in the academic and research domain. He obtained his PhD from Ecole Nationale Supérieure de Mines de Paris in energy engineering. His research areas are building energy systems, renewable energy, and heat transfer, in mainly in modeling and simulations. He has more than 80 publications in index journals and international conferences. He, he was also bestowed by the honorary distinction of order of the Academy of Palms by the government of France. He has held several administrative posts in the public sector, including the Deputy Vice Chancellor of University of Mortua, Commissioner, Public Ut Utilities Commission of Sri Lanka, Chairman, National Institute of Fisheries and Nautical Engineering, and he was the past president of Sri Lanka Energy Management Managers Association. He's a fellow National Academy of, he's a fellow National Ac Academy uh, of uh, Sciences Sri Lanka, a member of its council, and a member of the board of directors of National Engineer Engineering Research and Development Center. Sir, you are cordially invited to address the gathering. Very good morning to all of you. Dean, Faculty of Humanities and Sciences, Dr. Malita Vijay Sundara. Dean, Academic Development and Quality Assurance, Professor Colin Pires. Associate Dean, Research from Faculty of Computing, Dr. Dasuni Navinna. Heads of Department, Academic Staff, Senior Officers, and academic support staff. Dear parents, and most importantly, 
the students who are commencing their higher education career at SLIT starting from today. On behalf of the Chancellor of SLIT, Professor Lakshman Ratnayaka, Vice Chancellor, CEO MD, Professor Lalit Gamage, Senior Deputy Vice Chancellor, Provost, Professor Nimal Rajapaksa, and all the staff of SLIT. I would like to very warmly welcome you all to this inauguration ceremony corresponding to the second intake of students for the year 2023. At the same time, I would also like to very warmly and affectionately welcome the students and their parents to the slit family, our community. At the outset, I will also like to congratulate the students who are gathered here for being able to secure a seat of learning at our prestigious institute SLIT. We are the, the leading non-state higher education institute of this country and also in the first quartile of the higher education institutes considering both state and non-state education institutes in this country. We are also very proud and delighted about the demand for our academic programs. We understand that we receive applications more than what we have accommodated here today for this intake amounting to around 2,500 students. And the total, this being the second intake, the total for this year exceeding 5,000 students as new entrants, which exceeds all higher education institutes intake in this country and being the top most institute of high, uh, higher education, being ranked as the, the top most leading non-state higher education in this country. To take your attention slightly away from this conventional uh, welcome, I have attended so many inauguration ceremonies during my career as an academic and something that we note is that the students and parents come to the inauguration ceremony like students being taken to a dispensary to get an injection. They are afraid, excited, not relaxed because they do not know what is the level of welcome that they would get. The stories uh, tell that there is pressure, bullying, ragging, etc. But the environment here, looking at the faces and the appearance, the relaxed nature of both parents and students indicate the, our culture of welcoming you in a friendly manner with equal respect, dignity, and with smiling faces and appearance. So you have made the right choice being the topmost institute and also having a culture with friendship and cooperation. Uh, with that, I will take you through a few slides to give the anatomy and the cross-section of our institute that you would be engaged for the next four years or so. The Chancellor of SLIT, Professor Lakshman Ratnayaka, 
he is an alumnus of University of Moratua, having more than 45 years of academic experience, including academic administration. He has held the post of Dean Faculty of Engineering, University of Moratua, Vice Chairman of the University Grants Commission, and also the President of the Institution of Engineers, Sri Lanka. Our Vice Chancellor, Professor Lalit Gamage, who is also an alumnus from the University of Moratua. He is the founder of this prestigious institute, and he has been providing human service to the IT education of this country. He has held the posts of chairman of Arthur C. Clarke Center for Modern Technologies, chairman of ICTA, and many other posts relevant to higher education. And we recognize that his services, his contribution is not only to establishing strict, but also by and large to the entire higher education sector of this country. Professor Nimal Rajapaksa, our senior deputy vice chancellor and provost with 30 plus years of experience with the Canadian academic system and having held the post of head of the department mechanical engineering, head of the department civil engineering, vice president of research and international and emeritus professor from Simon Fraser University. Then myself as the provost chancellor academic, we have provost chancellor research and international professor Samantha Telijagoda and we have the panel of deans, Dr. Nuan Kodagoda, Dean Computing, Professor Suren Peter, Dean Slit Business School, what we call SBS, Professor Saman Tilakasiri, Dean Faculty of Engineering, Dr. Malisa Vijay Sundar, who is here as the Dean Faculty of Humanities and Sciences, Professor Pradeep Abey Gunawardana, Dean International, Professor Lalit De Silva, Head School of Architecture, and Professor Colin Peeris, Dean Quality Assurance and Academic Development. We also have in our structure chief officers, starting from Mr. Yashas Malavarachi, who is the chief academic affairs officer. I think he would play a very important role getting connected with you after your enrollment from registry, examinations, results, and graduation. He's responsible and in charge of all these key activities. Then we also have Mr. Udita Gamage, Chief Student Services and Outreach Officer. By now, I think most of you have already got in touch with him at this stage. So he would be responsible for uh, all student services, including uh, extracurricular activities, resources, etc. Then we have Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Niraj Bhutukuda, and Mr. Chaminda Bandara, Chief Technology Officer. SLIT, we are nationally, nationally and internationally recognized education provider. As I have indicated, we are the leading non-state higher education institute, and we have been ranked by the prestigious, one of the prestigious world ranking schemes, which is the QS Asia University ranking, where we are ranked in the top 750 in Asia, within top 200 in South Asia, and number seven in Sri Lanka, just below the top universities in the first quartile who have got medical faculties 
which assist quite a lot in uh, getting ranked at higher levels. We are also ranked by the Times Higher Education uh, scheme, education scheme, with the what we call the THE, Times Higher Education uh, scheme, impact ranking. We, are, we have been ranked as the sixth in Sri Lanka. So both of these ranking schemes are the world's topmost. Then we are also ranked as seventh in Sri Lanka according to the AD ranking, which is called Alpha Dodger, or we, in short terms we call AD ranking, based on the research performance and research productivity. We are proud to say that we are an approved institute and our programs approved by the University Grants Commission and Ministry of Education. In addition, we are member of the Association of Commonwealth Universities, ACU, and member of International Association of Universities, IAU. We are the first and to date the only Sri Lankan IT degree program offering uh, program accredited by the Institution of Engineering and Technology of UK, which is the pathway to become a chartered engineer qualification related to IT. We are also accredited for IT degrees by Computer Society of Sri Lanka, CSSL, and also our business program in the Association of Advanced Collegiate School of Business, AACSB. We are a member of this association. Our civil engineering program is recognized by the Institution of Engineers Sri Lanka because we have programs encompassing, on stage we have Faculty of Humanities and Sciences, Faculty of Computing, then programs are extended to engineering and business. So we also have uh, the civil engineering accredited by IESL, and also our architecture programs, locally accredited by SLIA, or recognized by SLIA, Sri Lanka Institute of Architects, and internationally accredited by uh, Royal Institute of British Architects. So our programs are highly accepted in terms of the quality and also in terms of recognize, recognition by the professional bodies, enabling you to easily, after this academic route, get into the professional route through these professional bodies. Vision and mission, I will not go into the details, so our goals and strategic actions have been distilled, extracted based on this vision and mission, and accordingly, the graduate attributes have been also established to meet our requirements in the mission. So this will be available to you. You can go through and get a clear understanding in particular students and also the parents about our vision and mission. Slit campuses and centers, we had a very humble start, as I indicated, um, with the orchestration of uh, Professor Lalit Gavange as the MD CEO and others. At the Metro campus, which is at the Mojan Tower called Piti, then it was extended to the Malabay campus. The images are here covering, encompassing all our centers and other universities uh, under the title slit. Um, then subsequently, very recently, uh, well, after coming to Malabay, so we were in operation, and we would be celebrating our Silver Jubilee uh, next year, that's 25 years, uh, highlighting, commemorating our start in 1999 at the Metro campus. We also recently extended our footprint to in inaugurating the Candy University. This was unveiled by His Excellency the President a week ago. And we also have another unit, Northern Campus in Jaffna. And we are also at the moment in the process of initiating Jaffna Uni in Kankasanture. We also have feeding centers to these main campuses, Matara, Kandy, Kurunagala, 
and also in view of conducting international programs, we have at Navamavata the Curtin Colombo. So, in other words, we have extended our footprint and being extending our footprint across the country, something similar to what we find in Europe, for example, in France, you know, city has its campuses uh, across the country, or like in USA, you know, city has its campuses in the state at many places. So, in the, uh, we are working on those lines, and it's a model that we have adopted. We are also proud to highlight the achievement of our students. The slide, uh, the image indicates on the right side, a group of students who became, emerged as Asian champions in the Microsoft Imagine Cup in the year 2022, and representing Asia in the grand finale at the US, competing with the team from Europe and team from Americas. And we are proud to say that they ended up as runners-up in this world competition of Microsoft Imagine 2022. And the image on the left would indicate the contenders this year, we have two teams, student teams, competing for the Imagine Cup 2023. It's currently in progress. We are also proud of achievement of students beyond their academic programs, bringing their know-how into the industry and to the society at large. Two examples where our students have created the businesses. We expect in our program the students who are gifted and be knowledgeable towards entrepreneurship, enabling creating their own businesses. And our philosophy is to produce graduates to become job creators rather than job seekers, which is the, the normal team under local conditions. So Arimac is one of the companies on digital service provider initiated, established uh, by students from, of SLIP. And the left side is Pulse Solution Private Limited, again, another student company established by it. So we have a platform fostering, enabling our students to create companies, establish and get them incubated and spin off as a company companies that, that are successful. These are two examples. By the way, our Dean Faculty of Humanities and Sciences is one of the uh, successful success stories going through this our incubator system and establish a company which is very uh, successfully operating at the moment. Well, apart from the academic program, we also encourage the students to be engaged with extracurricular activities. So this is a compilation of a portfolio of activities done in a normal calendar year, covering music, culture, drama, theater, sports, and co-curricular activities like conferences, seminars, and a sleep walk, and so on. So enabling the students uh, given an opportunity to come into contact with students with different domains and play roles as companies and get experience and to be productive in their actual life and come out as graduates who have got experience in working in these areas like providing leadership, time management, being strategic, and so on. So it's a good mix of academic activities, co-curricular activities, and a large number of extracurricular activities. We encourage very much engagement of the students in sports. I know that according to our education system, parents do not encourage much students engaging in sports because they are afraid that they will lose time in uh, doing studies. And they don't want the students to get engaged with music and other stuff like that. But you can, even though you have not participated in sports at school, you still can participate. Can give an example, the famous Indian cricket captain, Ajit Vadekar. He has never played cricket 
in school. But when he was in the university, one day he was requested to go to the ground carrying water as a waterman. And when he was in the ground, he felt that there's some pride if you play cricket. And he ended up playing cricket and became one of the successful captains in Indian history. So you can be one of them, even though if you are not playing, we have more than 20 sports also. You can take this challenge and get into uh, one of the of sports, one or many sports that maybe you're having some hidden talent. Yeah, so with that uh, slide deck, I will do my wind winding up session, uh, giving some advice and some thought for you to ponder during your four years of uh, academic career that you will be spending with us in this, uh, in this institute. Um, we have, uh, as an institute, a proven track record of resilience and reputation. Uh, because all our activities are planned, scheduled, we work on time. You would have noticed even today, and our programs are started, and the graduations are planned for exactly based on four calendar years, unless exceptional changes beyond our control uh, take place. But even then, a good example for resilience is during the COVID period, we managed to conduct all the programs, incorporating online interactive delivery and had, have held all the examinations, enabling graduation on time without any delay, totaling of about more than 5,000 graduates during the COVID period. So that indicates how well we are resilient even for a difficult situation like that. Then when it comes to our reputation, as I have already mentioned, we are ranked in the prestigious uh, QS ranking and Times Higher Education Impact Ranking. We are looking forward to extend our ranking to much higher levels in the Times Higher Education Ranking System. And our students, in terms of reputation, they have a very high employability. We are being told that the employers are very satisfied based on their feedback about the performance and also their, their employability level, enabling to find jobs within the period of three months after graduation. And of course, with due credit to our staff, they get engaged in research and industry work, and they have reached, during very short period, for a very young university, a reputation of research at very high levels. So all this would mean reputation of the institute. So you have an important role to do your work diligently and join this uh, the bandwagon of our way of working at SLIT. If you take the cohort, we have students coming from all geographical locations, north, east, south, west, center, everywhere, with several, almost all uh, center, everywhere, with several, almost all uh, representing all religions, all ethnic groups, and all disciplines. So we have a real harmony, a diverse group working on campus in several disciplines. Some say university is unity in diversity. So we have the exact, as the words say, exact combination. So it's a very important platform that you have uh, got the chance of. Yeah, we are in the 21st century and the employers demand for skills corresponding to students to face challenges in 21st century. So our program is geared in such a way that the curriculum, co-curriculum, that is activities related to the curriculum and extra curriculum, which you saw, are all combined, comprised and composed together to enable the students to get this 21st century skill set that is demanded by the global market, not only the, the country. They are like, I mean, being autonomous, self-determination, responsible, being sensitive to sustainability, environment, and respect the others, etc. So these are the, the life skills that are needed. So all these are embedded in our program 
So during the four years, these will be nurtured onto the students in a gradual manner. Of course, it's the program. We have provided the platform. It's up to the students to pay attention, dedication, and grab this opportunity uh, during this period of four years. So as I said, as members of uh, the street community, you also have a responsibility to uphold the streets, the prestigious name, wherever you represent street, even when you are a student or even after graduation. You have to be disciplined on campus. I know that that's not a problem. All of you are with, appear to be in line with our thinking. And also, please consider when you are on campus during these four years, all the resources available are for you and for the future batches. So conserve them, preserve them, use them carefully. Of course, you have to use them carefully, ensuring that they will be intact and be used for the next generation. And with that, I would like to conclude indicating that we have provided the platform. We expect your dedicated intervention to make use of this platform. And exactly in four years' time, we would like to see you in this particular, in this place, in the auditorium, as graduates who would be graduating with fine colors and with a lot of experience, know-how, that you would be taking to your family, to your uh, village, and to the country. And I would extend my warm wishes for very fruitful, productive, and a period filled with memorable and rewarding experience during these four years. Thank you very much. Hope to see you in four years' time. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, I would like to introduce Dr. Malita Vijaysundara, Dean of the Faculty of Humanities and Sciences, to share some insights to the undergraduate study programs delivered at the faculty. Sir, you are cordially invited to address the gathering. Thank you very much. A very good morning to all of you. Professor Rahul Atalagi, Pro Vice Chancellor Academic, Professor Colin Peris, Dean Academic Development and Quality Assurance, Dr. Daswini Navinna, Associate Dean Research, Faculty of Computing, Mr. Yasas Malavarachi, Chief Academic Affairs Officer, Heads of Departments, Staff, Dear Parents, and Students. On behalf of the faculty, I would like to extend a warm welcome to the students uh, who are joining us today. And you are joining a previous intake, and together uh, our faculty will have close to 300 new students this year. And our faculty started only five years ago, and we have reached many significant milestones and we have with including you we'll have about 1800 plus students and before uh, March next year I plan to uh, set a target of 2400 students uh, making it probably the second biggest faculty at SLIT. And we already have 12 programs, uh, undergraduate and postgraduate. And uh, we have about 50 academic staff. And out of them, uh, 15 of them are having uh, PhDs. We also have a number of research programs funded by the World Bank. Um, and these research programs have um, made us do a lot of research work and publish. And therefore, uh, overall, uh, as Professor Atalagi mentioned, our research rankings uh, go up uh, due to uh, initiatives like this. Um, so we also have a number of 
uh, industry collaborations. So these will help us to be relevant, keep, you know, keep us relevant in terms of curriculum and uh, what we inculcate in students. Um, and we are also very fortunate to have a very experienced uh, set of academic staff. Um, starting with uh, Professor Colin Peris, who's also uh, the Dean Quality Assurance and Academic Development. He's also a senior professor and in the area of biotechnology. Then we have uh, Professor Sriani Peris, uh, who's the head of the department for applied sciences. So some of you are joining the biotechnology program uh, conducted by her department. Then we have Professor Sarat Peris, um, who is also uh, head of the department for mathematics and statistics. Um, I'm not sure whether we have uh, Professor Sela Kumaran. Uh, he was the former head of uh, law school, and he's now an adjunct professor. And then we have Professor Tanaraj uh, from our School of Education. Next, we have Dr. Asanga Gunawansa, uh, who's also uh, head of the School of Law. Then Dr. Nilanga Abesingha, uh, he is the head of School of Psychology. Uh, Dr. Sashini Tenabadu, uh, head English Language Teaching Unit. Uh, Mrs. Chandrika Dasanayaka, um, head School of Nursing. And also, uh, I would like to introduce Mrs. Utpala Ranasingha, uh, manager of the Faculty of Humanities and Sciences. So these faces, I am sure you can't remember all of them in one go, but you will meet them and uh, get to know them uh, in due course. Um, so some of the programs that you are joining in, I'm just showing that we have a large array of programs uh, so that you have confidence uh, in your choice. Um, so we have two programs uh, by Liverpool John Moores University. We are partnering with them to offer these two programs, BSc Honours Psychology and LLB Honours Law Program. Um, so you will actually be uh, like students of that university, although you are studying here. Um, all the quality assurances, uh, all the paper marking will be done by uh, our partner university, so the quality is assured by them. Then we have a special program in nursing where the students could finish our high diploma and go to Deakin University to study their final year and become registered nurses in Australia. Um, then we have the B.Ed. programs. We have five such programs in English, social sciences, information technology, physical sciences, and biological sciences. So through these programs, we produce teachers who could teach up to A-levels. So since they are actually uh, doing this program in English medium, they are globally employable, not only in Sri Lanka. And we have graduated our first batch, and they are all employed very well. Then we have the biotechnology program I mentioned earlier. Uh, then we have financial mathematics and applied statistics program. So all these programs are approved by the ministry and recognized worldwide uh, as we are a recognized university. Then we have two postgraduate programs, um, postgraduate diploma in education. I'm sure uh, you will not be joining these programs immediately, but maybe in the future. Then Master of Education. Uh, then we have some upcoming programs. Probably these will be ready next year. Uh, BA Honours English Studies, LLB Honours Law, BSc Honours Biomedical Science, uh, BSc Honours Psychology, and BSc Honours Nursing. So these programs uh, are going through the process of approval, and by next year we will have these programs ready uh, to launch. So as uh, we are a, a 
we are a faculty with diverse programs. Um, our approach uh, and your experience will be slightly different to other faculties. Um, you'll actually be exposed to uh, friends and colleagues from many uh, disciplines, and that is actually a good thing. You can collaborate with them and be friends with them, and even in the future, that will be uh, really beneficial. So we will have a lot of field visits, depending on your discipline. We will take you to different uh, field visits. Um, then we have practical and research-oriented uh, industry talks, so they will come and uh, discuss what they are doing in the industry. Then for law program, we will have moot competitions and debates um, so that uh, they could interact and probably um, get an experience of how a uh, court of law operates. Uh, then industry collaborated final year projects. So uh, a lot of final year students do projects that are from the industry. Then we have for nursing, uh, we have clinical training. And for others, we have industrial training. So all our programs uh, will have a built-in internship. So you'll go to uh, a company or a workplace and practice what you have studied before you graduate. We also encourage our students as well as staff to organize social uh, service projects. So uh, we have uh, different types of projects, maybe blood donation campaigns or to help a needy community and so on. Um, and each department has uh, what is known as a department industry consultative board, where we invite experts from the, the same discipline to tell us what programs or what changes they wish to see in our programs uh, to improve our programs continuously. So we have a lot of facilities required for different programs. Uh, the labs required for biotechnology uh, and upcoming biomedical sciences. Um, and also the moot court that I mentioned earlier for the law program. So a lot of such facilities are available for you to successfully go through the program. Then, uh, as Professor Atalage mentioned, we also encourage extra and co-curricular activities. Uh, so to uh, start, I would also like to introduce uh, Kavindu Anthony, who's uh, the president of the uh, student community of our faculty. Uh, so with him and with, with his team, uh, you can actually uh, take part in these events and help organize these events. Um, so every year we have a conference called SciCash Conference. And uh, this year it will have an added dimension uh, with National Educator Awards being part of uh, the event. Uh, then we have many uh, events, uh, to name a few. We had what is known as AgriFest, that is related to the biotechnology program. We, uh, we actually had a competition in agriculture. And then we had SciFest, again from the same department, uh, that is more science oriented. MathFest from uh, mathematics and statistics department. Then we had musical events. Uh, Handava is one of those. Then we also had a uh, celebration of the Teacher's Day very recently um, from School of Education. So different events, uh, you know, you can actually join these and experience the event as well as be part of the organizing team and develop your leadership and networking skills. Um, so I think um, it's not only, as Professor Atalage said, the academic curriculum. Uh, I think uh, I wouldn't mention the name of the school, but a school anthem says, learn of books and learn of men, and also uh, learn to play the game. So that means not only academic activities and networking, but also extracurricular and co-curricular activities are important. So after all this, as Professor Atalage said, uh, we all want you to graduate, do this program successfully, 
and become successful uh, once you graduate as professionals. So I wish all of you good luck. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, I would like to invite Dr. Dasuni Navin, Associate Dean, Research of Faculty of Computing, to share some insights to the undergraduate study programs delivered at the faculty. Ma'am, you are cordially invited to address the gathering. Thank you. A very good morning to all of you. Um, Pro Vice Chancellor Academic, Professor Atalagi, Dean Humanities and Sciences, Dr. Malika Vijayasundara, Dean um, Academic and Quality Assurance, Professor uh, Colin Peary, Heads, uh, Program Coordinators, um, Chief Officers, uh, my colleagues, parents, and my dear students. So on behalf of the Dean of the Faculty of Computing, Dr. Nuan Kodagode, I would like to warmly welcome all of you, uh, those who are enrolled in the Faculty of Computing, to the faculty. So let me first of all show you some of the facts that why uh, you should be proud to be a member of the Faculty of Computing. So we are currently the largest faculty in the Sri Lanka. Now we have over 10,000 students right now, and with your intake, we will have over 11,000 students only in the faculty. Right? And we, ho we have over 160 academic staff teaching you, which includes 23 PhDs and five professors. In addition, we also have an honorary professor network uh, from around the world, we have a network of professors who are interacting with us for uh, the academic and research activities to give international exposure to our students. Let me quickly introduce some uh, key uh, staff members in the academic administration in the Faculty of Computing. Uh, our dean is Dr. Nuan Kodagode. He is actually today attending uh, the inauguration ceremony in the new uh, Candy Uni, so he's unable to be present here. Uh, we have two associate deans. Uh, Dr. Anuradha Karnasena is the associate dean academic, and then myself, associate dean uh, research. We have three departments. Uh, three departments. Uh, one is uh, the IT department, which is headed by Dr. Samantha Rajapaksa. Uh, we have a computer systems engineering department headed by Professor Sanat Jayavadana. Then uh, computer science and software engineering department headed by Dr. Kalpani Manatunga. So none of them are here today because they are also attending the parallel inauguration sessions in other centers. Then we have a separate division called first year division in the faculty of computing uh, just for the first year students. So that division is headed by Ms. Namali Valgampaya. In addition, as the first year students in the faculty of computing, these are the people that you will be frequently interacting with. We have uh, direct administration, Mr. Hemant Muthukumarana. Uh, he will be located in the main building, 7th floor. If you have any non-academic related matters, he is the person that you should be contacting with. Then Ms. Namali Valgampa is the head of the division, first year division. Uh, from this Thursday onwards, you will be joining the orientation program. Uh, that program will be coordinated by Ms. Shalini Rupasinghe. She is here on stage. So you will meet her from next uh, Thursday onwards. Uh, then we have the first year degree, uh, first year of the IT degree program is coordinated by Dr. Sanvita. So in the Faculty of Computing, all the specializations, the first year is a common uh, set of modules. So uh, the coordination is done commonly uh, through one coordinator. So we also have recently introduced two degrees, uh, computer uh, science and the systems engineering. So in those two programs, if you have uh, registered to those programs, 
Mr. Jeevaka Pereira is the one who's coordinating those programs. As uh, in the previous presentations also, you have seen our centers around uh, in different cities in the country. Um, we actually have uh, the Ca Candy Uni and uh, this uh, Candy Center, Kurunagala Center, and we have the oldest one is in the metro called Lupitia and uh, Jaffna. So likewise, in all these centers, the Faculty of Computing programs are offered. So right now in this week, in those places also, we are having the inauguration ceremonies. Let me quickly show what are the specializations we have in the Faculty of Computing. At the point of registration, you may have had a hard time selecting what is the best specialization for you. Uh, but uh, don't worry, in the first year time duration, you have enough time to decide which specialization that you want to go in the future. Some of these specializations are starting from the second year, and some of the other specializations are starting from the third year. In the first year time, you just have to get the information and see what is the best place to go into. Uh, so I will not take much time to explain all of these, but uh, the information systems engineering and the cyber security, those two specializations are starting from the second year beginning. So therefore, in the first year, uh, if, if you are interested in becoming a business analyst, uh, a person who's going to solve the business problems and model the systems, or if you are interested in uh, cyber security uh, to become a, a specialist in the security aspects in the systems, then uh, you must take that decision at the end of the first year to join those programs from the beginning of the second year. Other programs will start from the third year onwards. These are the two uh, recently introduced degree programs in the Faculty of Computing. We have a computer science and computer systems engineering. Uh, more technical and more mathematical content will be there. The idea is um, the the technology stacks that will be used by the information technology professionals uh, will be developed actually by uh, these kind of professionals that is coming out of the computer science or systems engineering type of disciplines. In addition to the undergraduate programs, this is uh, not required right now, but after a couple of years, you may be interested to join the master's programs. In the Faculty of Computing, we have several master's programs. The postgraduate division is headed by Dr. Anuradha Jayakwadi. Um, so the undergraduate programs in the Faculty of Computing are UGC approved programs. And in addition to that, they are well recognized worldwide. For example, we have the IET accreditation that is from the Institute of Engineers and Technology UK accreditation. They do frequent reviews with our programs. In addition to the undergraduate and master's programs, we also have MPhil and PhD programs. These are completely research-based uh, programs uh, that uh, you may consider later on. So one more important thing is uh, in the Faculty of Computing, we have a dedicated unit called Industry Engagement Unit. Right? So that unit uh, is headed by Mr. Amila uh, Sena Ratna, but he's not here right now. Uh, is dedicated to collaborate with the industry partners in the ICT industry in the soft, as the software companies and other IT-related companies. So we have a large number of partner uh, companies uh, that is having various MOUs and partnerships with us uh, to give us a set of benefits to our students. For example, in the Faculty of Computing, all the students are supposed to complete a six months internship during the degree program. So to find these internships, our technology, these industry partners are supporting us with opportunities. And also, annually we have industry consultative boards. That means we get the feedback from the industry, uh, like software industry and these uh, people from that industry to get feedback to improve our programs to suit the industry needs in future. In addition to that, we have various research collaborations with the industry partners, various research labs, training programs, workshops, and so on. 
So not only the academic uh, matters, you can also have fun uh, in the faculty. We have a number of events uh, in our annual calendar. Some of them are musical, some of them are cultural, competitions and likewise. So the Code Fest and ICAC, those two events are actually organized by the faculty itself. We are involved. And many of the other events are in, uh, dis, uh, organized by the student uh, community in the faculty. So we have a student community. Uh, the president uh, is Anujita. He is not, also not here right now. But I strongly encourage the new students to join in for these extracurricular activities. Uh, volunteer and uh, join in as much as you can because that will help you to build your social network and uh, eventually it will improve your personality as well. Um, being the largest faculty and having a long history, we have a very large alumni network uh, and uh, these people are not only in Sri Lanka, uh, in uh, international uh, context, we have a large number of SLIT graduates, IT graduates working in uh, high ranking positions. So these are some of the uh, recent success stories. They are not only working, but most of them are having their own companies. So they have been entrepreneurs. So we also encourage our students to start their own startups during uh, the degree program time itself, before they graduate. So you can become your own employer. Coming back to the program, a few important points. Um, once you start the semester now, the orientation program will start from Thursday. It will go up to six weeks or seven weeks maximum. And after that, in November, you will start the first year. So once you enter the first year, it is very important that you maintain attendance. Why? Because some of the assessments uh, that we give in a semester, I hope you know the idea of a semester. Semester is a six months time period. Within a six months semester, we have about four or five modules. Each module will have a set of exams, final exam, midterm exam, and some other assignments. So these assignments will uh, probably given, uh, be given in the class, in class test, right? So if you don't attend the lectures or tutes or the labs, you will miss some of these assessments and you will miss the marks and you will uh, get a lower grade, right? So if you get a good grade and a good GPA, you have a chance of getting a scholarship as well. So in addition to that, uh, you must make a habit of uh, checking the course web, which is the place we upload all the course materials, notices, assignments, assignment submission links, everything. So once you are enrolled, you will have uh, access to uh, the course web. Check all the modules in the course web that are relevant to you. Check the notices in a daily basis, please. And if you need any help in the first year, I already showed you uh, the people that you will be interacting with. Uh, but first of all, if you have a problem related to module, please contact uh, the instructors or the module leader of that particular subject. Uh, if you cannot solve your problem with them, then you have to reach the coordinator, year coordinator, or the head of that division. Um, if not, we also have uh, advisors uh, all these people, their emails are listed down in the website, so please go to the website and have a look at uh, to identify their contact details. So when you send the emails, one humble request, when you send the emails to the staff members, please use your uh, slit provided email address. Otherwise, we will not be able to recognize uh, whether you are a student or not. So with that, I will conclude my uh, presentation. Uh, I hope all of you will uh, complete the degree on time, on schedule, and after four years' time, uh, be present in the same auditorium uh, in the graduation. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Next on the agenda is the address by Mr. Yasha Smalavarachi the Chief Academic Affairs Officer. Sir, you are cordially invited to address the gathering.
Good morning, Professor Rahul Atalage, Pro Vice Chancellor Academic, Dean Faculty of Computing, Dr. Malita Vijay Sundara, Dean Academic Development and Quality Assurance, Professor Colin Paris, the Associate Deans, Heads of Department, members of the faculty, parents and my dear students. Let me also join the previous speakers in welcoming you to SLIIT. And in my short speech, I'm going to talk to you about some important services that we offer. So I want the fullest attention of all the students, please. Uh, I will be talking about the student support services, the counseling, the career guidance unit, sports and extracurricular activities that are available, the, the English help desk, which is very important, and also the scholarship options available to our students, and the medical services, and also I will be talking about the shuttle bus service as well. So let me start with the student uh, support. Now, this service is very important to all our students. Whenever you have a question to ask about your registration, about your examinations, or any other thing that you need to clarify, we have this service available, and the primary mode of communicating with us for this service is through an online portal, which is located on support.sliit.lk. I'm sure you are given your email addresses already from SLIIT, and you will be given instructions as to how to access this service during your orientation program. And if by any chance you are unable to access this, we also have the student support hotline. 7544910 is the number, and that hotline is again to answer your questions. And we have the student support uh, agents available for this facility. And we also have an English help desk. Now you have, most of you would have studied in either Sinhala or Tamil during your school days. So now you are starting to study in English medium, and for some of you, it may be somewhat challenging. It was like that for us also when we started studying in English. So during this transition, if you have issues with the English language, we have the English help desk, and we have staff from the English language teaching unit available to assist you. And you will also have the support of the academic mentors from the faculty. You have heard of the year coordinators, program coordinators, and so on. So relating to your studies, your subject matters, if you have a question, you can talk to them, and they will advise you and guide you towards that academic journey. The counseling service is an important service. Now, it may be due to study stress or due to a personal problem in your life. Sometimes you feel like giving up everything, and like leaving everything and you want to go home. So if you feel like that and if you need someone to talk to, we have the student counseling service and we have uh, clinical psychologists available to assist you and to talk to you and to help you to come out of these difficult situations. So it is very essential that you use this service whenever you need it, and you can come and talk to us in the Student Services Department, which is located in the level one of this building, and we will guide you to uh, obtain this service from the counseling service. And we also have the medical center, where SLIT's doctor, Dr. Dhananjay Bulatpatta, is available for free medical consultation, and also we offer some medicine free of charge to our students. So most of these services are located in the level two of this building. The career guidance unit is there to connect the, the faculties with the industry. They bring down industry professionals and conduct workshops and seminars. It is really important, in addition to gaining the subject knowledge, and getting good grades, it is also important to sharpen your other skills as well. The communication skills, team skills, time management, and so on. Now, these industry professionals come and talk to you about those things. They will tell you the kind of skills they are looking at. So whenever these things are scheduled, it is important that you take part 
and learn about those things. The Career Gardens Unit also organizes an annual career week. Now, the purpose of this is to bring down companies from the industry, and they set up their stalls at SLIIT, and you can walk into those uh, companies and obtain interviews. If you have certain skills, they offer internships then and there, and some get full-time employment as well. And this facility for computing students, you can, some of the students start employment from their third year onwards, and for other disciplines in the humanities faculty, you can specially focus on this service when you are nearing your graduation. We have 21 different sports, and we have all the required facilities given to students. We have a large playground, we have a swimming pool, we have the gymnasium, the basketball court, the badminton court, and so on. Even if you have not done any kind of sport during your school days, you can start now. It is really important that you gain some other additional skills in addition to your academic qualifications. And we have annual Colors Award ceremony to recognize extracurricular activity perform uh, performance in sports. If you have done well in sports, your performances will be recognized and you will be eligible for university colors. And also we have a number of clubs and societies and the faculty student community was introduced to you. So we have student communities in each faculty, in each program, and combining all the student communities, we have what is called Student Interactive Society. Now, what is the purpose of these societies? These student bodies are there to have close communication between students and staff. If you have a concern, if you are not willing to come forward individually and talk to us, you can communicate through these student societies, and they will bring your concerns to us, your suggestions to us, and we will work on those things. And there are certain clubs and societies who are organizing events, who are doing CSR events and so on. So get engaged with them. During your orientation program, they will come and talk to you, and you can get more details about how to connect with these clubs and societies. SLIT offers a number of scholarships to students who have excelled in their academic as, uh, as well as sports and extracurricular activities. A-level top performance scholarship is one of the key scholarships that we offer to those who have achieved island ranks in their advanced level examination. And under this scholarship scheme, we offer full tuition fee waiver across all four years. If you are doing a three-year degree, all three years, your tuition fee of SLIT will be waived off when you receive this scholarship. And in addition to that, your sports and extracurricular activity performances during your school days, if you have achieved national and international accolades, those things will be recognized and given scholarships to such students. When you join SLIT, each semester, Based on your semester academic performances, we offer scholarships to students. The top 1% will be given a full scholarship to study the next semester. So this is given each and every semester. So this is, again, a really good opportunity for students who perform well. Not only that, if you do well in sports at SLIIT, such performances are also recognized to award scholarships. There are some industry partnerships, especially for the computing faculty students. Some companies have come forward to offer scholarships to students where the students will be able to work in those companies, gaining industry experience while studying at SLIIT, where they pay their, your tuition fee. Most of the services we offer are available online, and Dr. Dasuni talked about the COSEB. The COSEB is the learning management system. Now, this is where all your course material will be uploaded and stored. 
So you can download your course materials, the PowerPoints and other material from the course web. And also we have all the important notices on course web. So this is something that you should visit regularly. We have another unique platform available at SLIIT. We call it the EduScope. This platform has the cap ability to record the lectures. So all the lectures that are delivered will be recorded and uploaded to this platform. And if you miss a lecture, or if you want to look at a lecture again, you can watch the recorded video. And in fact, this facility was established by uh, the Dean of the Faculty of Computing, Dr. Malita Vijay Sundara. It was his idea. So this facility is a very unique facility available to all SLIT students. The library also offers a number of e-services. The librarian will be talking to you during your orientation program. Another important uh, e-service is the student portal. When you enroll to SLIIT, you have already created your account in the student portal to apply to SLIIT. So this same account, the same portal that you are using currently will be used for your future registrations in each semester. When you do your examinations, your results will be published in the student portal. So I have already explained about the student support portal. The shuttle service is another facility given to students. We have a number of shuttle buses coming from popular destinations like Kalpiti, Panadura, Jaila, Nigambu, and so on. So if you are from around that area, you can use this service. Finally, let me talk about something really important. Now, you, your parents have sent you to SLIT. One of the reasons is, of course, the quality of academic delivery and the recognition the degree programs that are offered by SLIT has. In addition to that, one of the other key reasons was that we ensure uninterrupted academic delivery. And when you enroll and complete all your academic requirements to graduate, we make sure that you graduate in the specified number of years, whether it is three years or four years, depending on the degree program. We make sure that you graduate during that minimum time period. So this promise is something that we have kept throughout this 23-year history. And in order to maintain this, we are very serious about student discipline. So I request all of you to adhere to good discipline, uh, both inside the campus as well as outside. SLIT student rule book is available on the learning management platform, the course web. So I request you to go through the student rule book when you have access to it. So with that, I will conclude my presentation. I will be meeting you often during your studies, and I hope that you will enjoy your stay at SLIIT. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. With that, we come to the close of today's proceedings. Before we conclude, I wish to share the following announcements from the organizers. After this session, you will be guided to the exits for your refreshments. Please produce the refreshment tokens given to you when obtaining the refreshments. Your orientation program timetable for the session starting from 19th October has been emailed to your personal email address and slit email address. Please check the timetable and be present on the given days to start and follow the program. Dear participants and undergraduates of the October intake 2023, remember that every expert once was a beginner. There are no limits to what you can achieve from today onwards. We wish you all the very best and once again, Welcome to SLIIT. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem.